evaluate the indefinite integral of e to the 2 theta times sine of 3 theta d theta. Okay, well, I see this as product of two functions, and I want to try integration by parts. So I want to make assignments for u and dv. Okay, now normally we try to think of making an assignment for u so that when we take the derivative, we will simplify things, and whatever is left, dv, we can find the antiderivative for. Well, notice, derivative of e to the 2 theta is, what, 2 e to the 2 theta. Well, that doesn't really simplify, and the derivative of sine of 3 theta is 3 cosine of 3 theta, so that really doesn't simplify in either case. But we're going to try it anyway, and let's just make the substitution u equals e to the 2 theta, and we'll have dv be sine of 3 theta d theta. Okay, well then du is 2 e to the 2 theta d theta, and v is 1 third cosine of 3 theta. Right? Take the derivative of, excuse me, negative 1 third. Take the derivative of that, and you'll have sine of 3 theta. Okay, so that means integral of e to the 2 theta sine of 3 theta d theta is uv. Okay, so negative 1 third e to the 2 theta cosine of 3 theta uv minus the integral of v du. So that's plus two-thirds, right, that's the constant, e to the two theta cosine of three theta d theta. Okay. Well, look at this integral we have left. It's not simplified, but it's certainly not any harder either. It's almost identical, except the sine has been replaced with cosine. Okay, so we're going to use integration by parts again, where we make the substitution u equals e to the 2 theta again, and dv is cosine of 3 theta d theta. In this case, du is 2 e to the 2 theta, okay, and v is 1 third sine of 3 theta. Okay, check this derivative, check the derivative of v, and you'll see. All right, so I now have negative one-third e to the two theta cosine of three theta plus two-thirds times this integration by parts. So e to the two theta, so uv, so that's e to the two theta, one-third e to the two theta sine of three theta minus the integral of v du. Okay, so that's minus two-thirds e to the two theta sine of three theta. Excuse me, du here is a differential, so this is two e to the two theta d theta. So, all right, now let's go ahead and multiply out here and simplify things and see what we have. We have negative one-third e to the two theta cosine of three theta plus two ninths e to the two theta sine of three theta and then minus four ninths the integral e to the two theta sine of three theta. Alright, so I just distributed this two-thirds. Okay, now what do I notice here? Let's look at actually what my, my equality is saying. I, it's saying I have this integral right here is equal to this long expression. Well, look at the last part of this. It is identical. The integral there is identical to this integral. Right. So I'm going to think of that integral as sort of an unknown, right? and I'm going to add 4 ninths. So I have, I have negative 4 ninths of the integral, and I have one of them over here. So I'm going to add 4 ninths, that integral, to the other side of the equation. So this I can think of as, as having, what, 
nine ninths. So if I add four ninths, I'm at 13 ninths, the integral of e to the 2 theta sine of 3 theta d theta equals negative 1 third e to the 2 theta cosine of 3 theta plus 2 ninths e to the 2 theta sine of 3 theta. Okay, so I added 4 ninths this integral to the other side, giving us a total of 13 ninths. Okay, and then to solve for this integral, I multiply both sides by 9 13 So I have e to the 2 theta, integral e to the 2 theta, sine of 3 theta, d theta, and I multiply here by 9 13 Okay, so if I multiply here by, by 9 13 I have negative 3 13 e to the 2 theta, cosine of 3 theta, Plus multiply by 9 thirteenths, I have plus 2 thirteenths e to the 2 theta sine of 3 theta plus constant. Okay, so remember we're finding an antiderivative for this. So there is my indefinite integral. And we were able to do this by, notice, by using integration by parts twice, we got back exactly the same integral as what we started with, okay? We combined those terms and then just solve for that integral.